Hi, I'm Christine Armashaw and today I'm going to show you how to put a horse cover on the correct way. So, if you've got a horse that's not that bothered or not that spooky, you can actually tend to just sort of pick it up and, and throw it over them. But, the correct way, especially for a horse that is a bit spooky or a young horse, getting used to wearing a cover, you kind of want to take your rug and just fold it back in half so you've got less that you're going to put over him at once. So let's take it over to him. Okay, good boy. Okay, so standing on the left hand side, let's just move him over a bit. Move over, buddy. There we go. We're going to take the rug, so we're on the near side, we're on the left, and we put it over him. Okay, so this is the tail flap. We're going to slide that back, and we're going to unfold the rug forward. Okay, so he's got the main part covering his body. Now, really important when you're putting your horse's rug on, is always start from the back and go forwards. And now the reason that we do that is that say he pulls back and he gets a fright or you're doing this in the middle of the paddock and he's not tied up, you should probably have your horse tied up, but well, look, we all do it. So if you're gonna do it is you do the back straps so that when you do them up and they go around his legs, if he freaks out and runs away, the whole cover will still slide off his bum and land on the ground and his legs are free and he can run away kicking and screaming and he cannot be trapped in the rug. If you've already done up the front straps however and you haven't done up the back straps and he freaks out and runs away he's going to get that all caught up around his neck, he's going to shred the cover and he could really damage himself as well. So we always start by doing the back straps up first and working our way forwards. So let's put it on I'll show you how to properly do it. over his body, cover his rump first and then pull it forward up to his wither. Okay and then we go to the back of the horse and we start with one strap, goes around, around the leg and then it clips up to the ring. Okay, come over to the other side with me. We get to the other strap, we unclip it. It too goes around the leg like this, but this time it goes inside the other strap. So you can see the reaction. We've crossed them over and we clip it on. Okay, back to the other side. Undo it. So now we've got, so we undo the bit where it's been tucked in. Now we do the front straps them up. Now my little pro tip here, if you've got a cover that has two straps at the front like this one does, always do the bottom strap up one hole tighter than the top strap. So if I get you to have a look right in here, that one's done all the way up and that one's got one hole left. Now what that does is it makes this have a little bit more room at the top than this. So when the horse is leaning forward and grazing and eating, it doesn't pull so tightly around his neck and it can help prevent the horse getting cover rub on his chest and on his shoulders. So that's my top tip is have this buckle one hole less done up than the bottom strap. Okay, now we're on to the neck. That just gets pulled forward and just the same as all of the other straps, we do them up one at a time. I make these all basically the same distance but this is a quite a loose sheet, so it's not going to get too tight on them anyway. Just keep it there. Through the keepers, straps can't undo so easily. And there you have it. He's all ready to go back out to the paddock and romp around with his mates.